But what I would say where, for me, the hope lies is in two things. One is that I think, you know, the young are very, very interested in either the kind of action that you talked about, the kind of protest action, and it happens all over the place in many ways, and also in the NGOs, the non-governmental institutions that do now function around the world and do far better work than I do on a daily basis when I'm writing. Um, the, The other area that gives me hope is that when I talk to young writers um, and indeed young artists, they will say to me, I mean, I was, I was in conversation with, public conversation with a, a rather wonderful writer called Zadie Smith, who, you know, likes to encompass various traditions in her work. And she says, you know, part of her labor, part of her work, part of her life is constantly to carry on conversations with the writers of the past, with the writers of various traditions or artists of various traditions in the past. And And that conversation, that ongoing conversation, feeds into the work that she does, does now. And I think that's true for all of us and for all artists. And I find hope in that. We haven't had a complete rupture despite our culture wars. We talked too much, a lot of, about artists, but we didn't talk much about the, the, the masterpiece itself, about the painting. I think it's also very important to know, I think, I believe, maybe it's too mystical, but... Uh, uh, The masterpiece itself has its own energy, its own life. Once it's created, it leaves its, it, the, 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 it cuts its uh, connection with, the, with its creator. And uh, it continues living and changing and evolving in our world. So, and uh, I think that um, the greatest possibility that we have with the masterpieces, with the art of my father's films, and I'm bringing testimony of the people I met working on. Uh, uh, um, on the foundation, meeting the people uh, that uh, that was saying that uh, the films, art, my father's art, can change them. They change their lives. If art, uh, the must uh, artwork, is capable to have an energy to change someone's life completely, I met people who who were scientists or engineers. They became priests after seeing Tarkovsky's films. So that's something very powerful. And I think it's not only regarding the, the, the that's examples I think they're all over the world and uh, it could happen with all the paintings and uh, artworks and uh, musical pieces. So and if we have this, we still can have hope. And this film is about the hope nonetheless. The, 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 the situation was so grim, and my, my father, in my documentary, was, was very uh, negative about the reality of things. But he never left in, uh, the idea that there's always something that we have to tend to. Until we leave, we have to evolve spiritually. And that's actually, I think, the dedication he gave to all of us. Well, a film dedicated to, 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 to me personally, but it's dedicated to all the children that are coming afterwards. This idea that, you know, with, we clearly are imperfect, you know, and, uh, but there isn't much more than we can do to work on those imperfections, work it collectively, know more, understand more, mm -hmm. uh, also about what we, about these imperfections. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, that actually is the, um, the greatest source of hope. It's this fact that we can learn as a world Mm -hmm. uh, clearly, we do that with ups and downs. Um, art plays a very important role in the sense, uh, for me, it's a kind of an antenna, or it's a radar screen where you see things, you know, blips of a, of a uh, very, very uh, distant future. But I think um, what we do need is this uh, sense of, I would say, it's not ownership, it certainly is responsibility. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. it's not that time pushes us, you know, unwillingly in a certain direction. We uh, We, uh, you know, it's all, it's self-inflicted, right? It's, this is the world that we create together. And, um, and the hope is by understanding more about it, I think, about uh, ourselves, about how we interact, how this all came to being. That, uh, and I think, you know, act in the end, you know, very, very, very basic human skills of mm -hmm. uh, patience, uh, trust, dialogue, Uh, things that are you know, as important now as they were in, in distant past and distant futures. I think that's actually the way that we uh, 
can carry that responsibility. Freud was uh, practically pupil of Nietzsche in many things. And uh, Nietzsche uh, said in his uh, gay science, Freudische Wissenschaft, through his um, madman, who was the herald of the death of God, aren't those uh, churches uh, just uh, tombs and tombstones of the dead God? And I ask, I ask it the same question in the pandemic, in this lockdown, when the churches were closed. I wrote a book, uh, Time of uh, Empty Churches. And uh, I ask if the church, if the Christianity uh, will not have a revival, but not this revival in this Pentecostal evangelical way, to go deeper, to go deeper. Uh, so uh, it may happen that the churches will be just uh, the tomb of the dead God. But the empty tomb has in Christianity also another <laughs> meaning. Absolutely. Uh, they are uh, to angels saying, why do you seek uh, the living among the dead? So uh, we shouldn't uh, seek the living God among the dead in the tombs. Uh, we should go to the Galilee uh, to meet him again. And uh, I think the, uh, the faith in the resurrection, it is the courage uh, to seek uh, the uh, living, uh, to, to seek the Galilee of today, to seek the living, the resurrection, who is absolutely transformed. So the resurrection is not uh, to go back, uh, some revival of the dead corpse. It is the surprise, absolutely surprise, and something absolutely new. And uh, also in the gospel, uh, the nearest and dearest of Jesus uh, are not able to recognize him. The Mary Magdalene Me is a gardener a and so on. Yep. And he's absolutely surprised. And uh, the apostle Thomas, uh, the patron of us doubters, he recognized him by, uh, by, 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 by the wounds. And I think it is the sign we should uh, recognize the living God, living Christ, living, living culture, living spirit, uh, the, the wounds. Uh, because if we ignore the wounds of our world, we have no right to say, my Lord and my God. Eh? Uh, and there are the illusions. But I think the wounds of our words, they are the place we can meet the living God in anonymity, uh, in, as a surprise. And uh, I think the uh, art is doing this. And all, uh, practically all uh, the films we have seen, uh, it, it, it was this topic, eh? the wounds, uh, the wounds uh, of our world, they are the place we can recognize something sacred in an absolutely new way.